Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland returning on the big screen once again? Tom Holland's new trilogy deal with Marvel and Sony? Kang the Cockerer in Deadpool 3? And Black Adam 2 script? This week was filled with superhero news. Keep watching our video to make sure you are fully updated. Starting off with Black Panther Wakanda Forever, a new poster was released. The very early audience reviews of the film are overwhelmingly positive, with the Rotten Tomatoes audience score being 94% as of this recording. Wakanda Forever's producer, Ryan Coogler, also revealed the timeline of the film. The movie is set to take place after the events of Spider-Man No Way Home and The Eternals, and in parallel with the events of Thor Love and Thunder and those of the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Staying on Wakanda Forever, we all know that the character Riri Williams, better known as Ironheart, will be making an appearance in this film. Nate Moore, producer of Ironheart, the Disney Plus TV show, revealed that the show will continue just after the events of Wakanda Forever. Now, coming to Agatha, Coven of Chaos, we have quite a few updates on this show. First of all, it is confirmed that it will be a limited series, which means that it will only have one season. The series is reported to have nine episodes. The writer of WandaVision, Megan McDonald, joined the writing team of this show along with some new cast members. Joe Locke is set to play a gay teen with a dark sense of humor. Shashir Yamata, Ali An, and Marie Dizia will also be joining the cast alongside R.B. Plaza, who is rumored to be playing a villainous role. The roles of each new cast member are currently being kept under wraps, but we are excited for the new cast members in the MCU. Whom are you most excited to watch in the show? Do let us know in the comments section down below. Now coming to some small but major updates. The boys' fourth season will introduce two new recruits to the Vault International lineup, Sister Sage and Firecracker. Playing the roles will be Susan Hayward as Sister Sage and Valerie Curry as Firecracker. Fans are all up for watching them in action, and so are we. Many new concept arts from Loki Season 1 are now available on the internet. You can watch all of them on your screen right now. The concept art also reveals that the character, Hunter B-15, played by Wumi Masoka, was originally a male character. You remember Scar, Hulk's son from She-Hulk, right? In a new Instagram post, Marvel Studios concept artist Constantine Sekeris reveals some new designs for Scar while also revealing how old the character is meant to look. He revealed that the character is 17, 18 years old and cocky and tough. You may now ask, why does Scar look so old? Well, time moves differently on Sakaar. So while it may not have been 18 years since Hulk first arrived there, the temporal differences could factor into most explanations. Joe and Anthony Russo, the directors behind Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, aren't planning to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe anytime soon. They revealed they aren't coming back to Marvel until at least 2030 and are taking a break from the MCU. The Stargirl TV show was canceled after three seasons, and with the third season currently airing, the show will wrap on December 7th. American actor Yahya abdul Mati II has been cast as star as the lead in Disney Plus' series Wonder Man, where he will be playing the role of Simon Williams. This series is set to bring back Ben Kingsley as Trevor Slater. We last saw this character in Shang-Chi. According to Variety, Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings director Dustin Daniel Critton is developing this project with head writer Andrew Guest and will direct at least one episode of this show. According to some reports, Marvel Studios allegedly wants Bob Odenkirk to play a special role in this series. Moving on, we have some very old news for you. Related to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 4, which was sadly canceled. Angelie Jolie came very close to being part of the movie that never happened as the daughter of the Vulture. Staying on the same topic, according to some reports, Sony's Madam Web movie is allegedly bringing back Topher Grace's Venom from Spider-Man 3. Not only that, but Dane DeHaan's Harry Osborn slash Green Goblin from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is also rumored to make an appearance in this film. You would have watched Netflix's The Sandman until now. Season 2 of that show is confirmed and we are all up for it. Matt Reeves' Batman spin-off series The Penguin sets Christine Milotti as female lead Sophia Falcone. Black Adam 2's script has already been finished, at least according to someone with very close links to the first film's production. James Gunn finally responded to the trending hashtag release the airs cut by tweeting this. You can pause the video to read the whole thread properly. These were some small but major updates. Now to the news you've been eagerly awaiting. The next film from the Spider-Man franchise is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and we have some exciting rumors from the film. According to the rumors, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland may appear in the film. Yes, you heard me right. Well, it is a Spider-Verse film, so we may even see them in live action. The possibilities are endless. This couldn't get any better, right? Well, to your surprise, it can. 
Spider-Man from the PlayStation game is also said to be in the film. We are super excited to watch all of them in action. Do let us know your thoughts about these rumors in the comments section down below. Staying on the Spider-Man topic, Tom Holland's Spider-Man is sticking around the MCU. Holland reportedly signed a new deal to return as Peter Parker in more Spider-Man sequels for Sony Pictures, which teamed with Disney and Kevin Feige's Marvel Studios to bring the wall crawler to the MCU. On the hot mic with Jeff Snyder and John Roca podcast, insider Jeff Snyder reported the news that Holland closed a deal for the as yet untitled Spider-Man 4, the follow-up to last year's Spider-Man No Way Home. While unconfirmed, Snyder said Holland's renewed contract includes another Spider-Man trilogy and at least three more appearances. It's unclear whether that means within the MCU or Sony Spider-Man universe. At Good CBM Takes, a Twitter account that posts Marvel leaks also listed the project covered in the deal and claimed that Zendaya and Jacob have not yet signed anything. In this week's final update, Owen Wilson's Morbius and TVA from the Loki Disney Plus show are rumored to appear in Deadpool 3. If you think that's exciting, wait until you hear that Kang the Conqueror actor Jonathan Majors will reportedly join the cast of the threequel. Taylor Swift is also rumored to appear in the film. Well, what can we say? If Ryan Reynolds can bring Hugh Jackman and his Wolverine back, then anything's possible. We just have to wait and see how well these rumors hold up. We hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you and your friends don't miss out on any updates. See you next week for a slew of new updates. Bye!